Hello everyone, today we are looking at a possibility for composite modeling. The modeling of composite in micro modeling, different materials are modeling separately. In macro modeling, composite properties are modeled only by orthotropic anisotropic materials. The elements do not need to be aligned. And by mixed modeling, discrete layers are created with orthotropic anisotropic material, usually with shell elements, with multiplier layers plus orientation for every layer. Now we look at keywords from Calculix that describe composite properties. Material, tube, engineering constants is for orthotropic material. We can define elastic modulus, shear modulus and Poisson ratio in any direction. Next keyword is orientation. For each layer you have to define extra coordinate system. For example, rectangular coordinate system is defined by two points A and B. Point A is local x direction and point B belonging to the xy local plane, but not on the local x axis. Here you can see example. Finally, shell definition. With a common composite, you can define layer thickness, material and corresponding orientation. Command, command composite for shell can only be used for S8R and S6 elements, elements second order. Additional information you can find in Calculex Manual, chapter 7.4 Elastic, 7.85 Orientation and 7.97 Shell Section. Now we can simulate simple example in Prepo Max. Start new project and import surface. Mesh it with elements second order as eight R shells. Prepomax does not directly support definition of orthotropic material and orientation, uh, but you can use it manually by inserting of keywords. We go to model, keywords, I copy and paste the keywords in input deck. Here you can see material, orientation and shell sections. Uh, with three layers. It is a bit complex with orientation because you cannot see your coordinate system. You have not optic control for orientation. For example in Abacus or Hypermesh you can see it. Create step. Boundary conditions. Fix and force in Z. Run simulation. Results. It is composite shell with three layers. Go back to model and with copy and paste I add additional layers. Now we have nine layers. Run simulation again. Results with nine layers. Okay, it was for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.